Good things come in small packages, but with Ant-Man, they come in big ones too. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top 10 greatest Ant-Man stories ever written. Who are you? Who is she? What the hell's going on? And can I go back to jail now? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at important, influential, or just really good comics featuring anyone who's taken on the guise of Ant-Man. And since Hank Pym also adopted the aliases of Giant Man and Yellow Jacket, we're including stories featuring those personas too. Hank Pym is dead. I'm sorry you feel that way, Yellow Jacket. <laughs> Number 10, The Irredeemable Ant-Man. Although Hank Pym and Scott Lang's turns as Ant-Man get the lion's share of the attention, there's a lot to be said about the series featuring Ant-Man number three, Eric O'Grady. A minor cog in the machinery of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s spy machine, O'Grady stole an Ant-Man suit for his own purposes, which weren't necessarily heroic. Not exactly a villain, he just wanted to use those powers for his own glory and gain, and to impress a few women along the way. In the deft hands of Robert Kirkman, creator of the Walking Dead comics, O'Grady becomes a very Daffy Duck style hero whose good intentions conflict with greed. Number 9, Lost in Space Time. Hank Pym had a hard time settling into superheroics, going from Ant-Man to Giant-Man to Goliath to Yellow Jacket. When you add in the fact that Pym had a few breakdowns over the years and displayed clear signs of instability, it's kind of obvious that this was an unhappy man who really needed help. In this West Coast Avengers story, Pym revealed just how tortured he felt and how he was prepared to end his life. Fortunately, a teammate intervened and worked with him to boost his confidence, with the result being that Pym saw that he didn't need a secret identity to be a hero. Steve Englehart's script gets a bit melodramatic, but it's still definitely effective. Number 8, To Steal an Ant-Man. Scott Lang first donned the shrinking suit in this two-part tale and made his mark quickly. Lang was a reformed burglar who worked for Tony Stark's company as an electrical engineer. Things were going fine until his daughter needed medical assistance, and the only doctor who could help him had been kidnapped by an evil villain. Lang stole Hank Pym's Ant-Man suit so that he could track down and rescue the doctor to save his daughter. Sure, that's pretty formulaic, but David Michelin's script hits all the right buttons and makes Lang a compelling character. Plus, John Byrne's artwork is as powerful as always. Daddy, is that you? Hi, Peanut. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Number seven, Assault on a Mind Cage. Lang and Pym teamed up as Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket, respectively, in this Avenger story. The Wasp has been kidnapped and was held captive inside a place known as the Solomon Institute. Since the Avengers could not legally enter that space without a warrant, Pym and Lang snuck in and tried to rescue the Wasp. Along the way, they discovered that the Institute is a training ground for villains and encountered the Taskmaster, who would become one of Lang's most memorable foes. The story is typical Marvel fare of the period, but David Michelin does create a good relationship between the two heroes. There's also some gorgeous George Perez art to make the comic something special. Number six, FF Volume Two. When you or I go on vacation, we go to the beach or some other country, maybe. Reed Richards and his family go to other dimensions. So while he was gone, Reed asks Scott Lang to keep an eye on things with the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. These stories make the most of Lang not being the most adept leader, providing plenty of opportunity for humor and capturing a distinctly Silver Age tone. You can credit writer Matt Fraction for taking a lighthearted yet heartwarming approach that is entirely engaging and simply a lot of fun. This sense of levity is buoyed up by Mike Allred's already distinctive art, delivering here in a way that suggests that he was smiling while he was drawing. Number five, the court martial of Yellow Jacket. Oh, Hank, Hank, Hank. Sometimes you're just a train wreck, buddy. This story is case in point. Worried that Janet was tired of him, he rejoined the Avengers as Yellow Jacket so that he could regain her respect. Unfortunately, he behaved recklessly in the midst of battle, and the Avengers held a meeting to decide what to do with him. Pym made things much worse by creating a robot to attack the Avengers, with the idea that he would save the day. That didn't work out. But more crucially, Pym snapped and struck Janet in anger. The story was a major turning point for Pym, revealing the depths of his issues and outraging many for his treatment of his soon-to-be ex-wife. You should have just left me alone. I had it under control! No, you didn't. You never did! Number 4. A Journey to the Center of the Android Ant-Man's titular journey doesn't take up this entire Avengers issue, but it is by far the highlight. Clearly inspired by the film Fantastic Voyage, Pym has to shrink down to his tiniest size to enter the body of the inert Vision to save him. Along the way, he encountered various obstacles which were essentially the android's version of an immune system, and they considered Pym a dangerous intruder, obviously. Although Roy Thomas' script goes a little far, especially when talking about ants screaming, all in all, it's one hell of a fun joyride. 
The period pop culture references are a blast, but what really makes this issue is Neil Adams' muscular, stunning art. Number 3. Ant-Man – Second Chance Man Created as the lead-in for the Ant-Man film, Second Chance Man is an excellent introduction to Scott Lang and a great jumping-on point for new readers. The first couple of issues retold Lang's history with some new details added in along the way. Then, things took off when Lang moved to Miami to be near his ex-wife and their daughter. He opened up a private security business, hiring a third-class ex-supervillain to help him. Complications ensued, naturally, with writer Nick Spencer adding generous dollops of humor into the action while still fleshing out the characters and their relationships. Without really changing much of anything, Ramon Rosanna's clear, crisp style makes the visuals fresh. Number 2. Ultron Unlimited Contrary to what the Marvel Cinematic Universe might say, Hank Pym is the real creator of Ultron, much to his shame. Although the villain has been around for some time, it wasn't until this story that readers learned that the destructive robot's mind was modeled on Pym's own brain. So that means that defeating Ultron really was a personal matter for Hank. In this tale, Ultron created an army of robots, destroying an entire country and beginning a plan to replace all of humanity with his metallic brethren. With Kurt Busiek at the helm and George Perez contributing amazing art, action and adventure are the order of the day. But there's also moments to explore Pym's relationship with Ultron, and a chance for the hero to redeem himself. <laughs> 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 Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. The Trial of Yellow Jacket Many of the best superhero stories concern the hero being knocked off of their pedestal and having to struggle their way back up. Roger Stern did a memorable job of bringing Yellow Jacket to a new low. First, a villain forces him to steal for him, threatening to kill his niece if he refused. Then, after Pym is caught and arrested, the villain breaks him out of jail, making him look even guiltier. Pym is finally able to turn the tables and get the upper hand on him. But with his name cleared at last, Pym decided it was time to take a break from heroics, and who could really blame him? Expert plotting, tasty dialogue, and keen characterization make this story a standout. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.